Okay, here's the uh, box that it came in. Um, this is a 2000 watt um, pure sine wave inverter. And uh, I bought it from uh, AliExpress. It took about 10 days to get here, which wasn't too bad. And uh, I watched all the reviews on this inverter, and they were pretty good. And uh, guys were getting up to 1800 watts off of it on this 2000 watt converter. So we're going to uh, get it out of here and see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, these come with it, but I'm not going to use these. These are pretty much junk. Uh, I might use these on my 750 watt uh, modified uh, inverter that I'm going to mount on the outside for stuff outside the RV. And uh, this one is mainly for running my coffee pot, and microwave, and stuff like that. As you know, I did the unboxing of the 550 watt uh, Cuisine Art uh, 4 cup coffee pot, and this is what I'm going to be hooking it up to. And uh, comes with a remote, okay, quite a bit of cable with it, and uh, lots of fuses, okay, and uh, it's very well packed, damage. This thing came all the way to China naturally. Okay, get rid of the box here. Okay. It's quite heavy. And uh, this is the brand. It's uh, SWI power. Okay. And there's YouTubes that you can watch on this inverter, people using it. And they're all pretty good. So I went ahead and bought it. I got it on AliExpress. I think I paid $177. It was $189 out the door. And uh, the lugs on it are pretty heavy duty. And uh, two fans. Outlet. Okay. And it tells you the bolts. You see, you can't see that. Let me grab my my glass. Okay, AC output voltage and DC input voltage. this installed and uh, we'll hook up my uh, coffee pot in the morning and see how it works okay I've got the uh, inverter all uh, installed I put it over here by the door by the fire extinguisher and I ran the remote up through the balance and attached it right there Go ahead and turn it on. Okay. And uh, I'm going to eventually run a box from the inverter and out the box. But for now, I'm just using an extension cord. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a pot of coffee with this uh, 550 watt coffee pot. So it brews right at about 
534 watts. And get the coffee pot out of the way. Okay. So that was a success. So let's try this uh, blender I make smoothies with. I don't even know how many watts it is. How many it pulls. Um, see if she's hooked up. Yep. Okay, let's go all the way to uh, high. Okay, on the highest setting, it was like 248 watts, which I thought it would be more than that. But uh, that's all that draws. Okay. Now I have a little air fryer. See what it pulls. And it goes to all the way up to 400 degrees okay and I got it set all the way to 400 okay put it on the watts turn it on okay 954 948 And it seems to be handling it no problem at all. Okay. Now, I want to do the uh, ultimate test for what I have in my RV. The microwave. Now, here's the cord for the microwave. Okay, let me set this down. Plug it in. kicked on on the inverter 1470 watts 1449 1450 it's right at bouncing around 1450 to 1430 okay and the uh, fan did kick on on the inverter drawing the batteries from 13 down to 10.3 this is on the wall so it's backwards so um, the fans did kick on and the wires are nice and cool and, uh, it's running the microwave no problem So, shut that off, unplug the microwave, let's 
so you can see this C N S W I power 2000 watt 4000 surge inverter works great and the bolts have gone back up to almost 13 13 volts just flashing around 12.9 okay so so anyway that's my video this morning sorry I'm a little sluggish and just woke up so uh, stay tuned um, for some more videos uh, well this will run everything in my my RV except for you know of course my air conditioner but uh, that's great uh, and uh, I'm really happy because I can make my smoothies I can make my coffee I can run my microwave I can uh, run my uh, air fryer I also have a ice maker I didn't try but I'm sure it will run that that's only 240 watts and I have a portable washing machine also and that's uh, about 250 watts so thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe if you have any comments uh, I'd like to hear them